right when I wake up, I chug water and then I open up my blinds to let in some light and then head over to my kitchen. I have been loving my new little Halloween decorations. And then I grab a mug for my morning coffee. And today we had to choose the Hocus Pocus mug since it's October. I've been using my Nespresso Latissima machine for about three years now and she's still going strong. I just make two shots of espresso and then use the little frother to froth up some oat milk and then this Chobani pumpkin spice creamer. Yeah, we're using regular milk and oat milk in the same coffee. It doesn't really matter to me. And then I stare out the window at all the dogs at my apartment complex going on their morning walks and they're so cute. And then it's my peaceful quiet time. So I read a little bit of a devotional. This is the one I'm reading from For the Girl. This is my She Reads Truth Bible. And then I also will journal for about five to 10 minutes. This is my dreamer journal in matcha. And then I like to read an inspirational book. So something that puts me in the mood to kind of get started with my day. This is one of my all time favorite entrepreneurial books, The Emotional Entrepreneur by Scout Sobel. Then I'll put on my comfy work from home outfit that I can also walk outside in. I love this one piece set from Aloe Yoga. It's the only thing I have from Aloe and it is so comfortable. And then I'll just rinse my face with some water in the morning or splash my face and then brush my teeth. Just, you know, the usual. All this time I am usually responding to texts or anything like that. I use this tongue scraper when I remember. That's super cool and it's honestly a really cool tool. Then I'll put on moisturizer and sunscreen and that's all I put on first thing in the morning. Uh, you guys know I love Curology. They're just my go-to for skincare. We put on some Summer Fridays lip balm and then quickly make my bed so that it's all nice and pretty when I come back in the apartment. And then most mornings I go for a quick walk first thing before I start work. I grab my belt bag and I had to take this time to show off the daily tote, my new tote bags from my brand that are launching tomorrow at shopdreamdaily.com. Okay, so now I go on my walk and in the summer I would have to shower after this, but right now in the fall it's like 60 degrees in the morning. The leaves are changing. It is just the most peaceful time. I'll listen to music or some podcasts. And then I get back in my apartment and I'm starving. It's normally around 9, 9.30. I make, yes, usually avocado toast, but that's not super fun. It's very basic. So I wanted to spice it up and show you guys this smoothie recipe I've been loving this fall. It is my apple pie smoothie. And you just need about a quarter of an apple. So yeah, one apple can make you quite a few smoothies. We're gonna chop that up, put it in our blender, and then we're gonna add in one frozen banana this is what's gonna make it creamy. Add your milk of choice, just enough to blend it all up. You're gonna add about a fourth a cup of oats. That is gonna make this filling and give it like that pie kind of taste. Then add a tablespoon of almond butter. You can add some yogurt if you please and then top it off with a ton of cinnamon. You can also add protein powder if you want some extra protein, but I just blend all of this up and guys, it is so delicious and crisp and warming. It just is fall in a glass. And so if I want a mid-morning snack or if I want a sweeter breakfast, this is what I'll make. We had to have the money shot there, so good. And then it's time for me to set the mood for work. So I will light a candle. I love this cheap one from Trader Joe's. I get ready for the day with my planner. I first write out a to-do list, just brain dump every little thing I need to do from working out to all my work tasks. And then I will time block the day. Um, so I start with my morning routine and then normally start work between 9 and 10 a.m. So I'll write down the first things I'm going to do, when I'm going to work out, if I'm getting lunch with a friend or if I'm going for drinks later that night, I write it all out so I know what to expect from my day. And then to continue setting the mood, I put on jazz music. just calms me it's so therapeutic it sets a vibe and I love it and in the fall I will put on a, a little fireplace on my TV to just add some cozy vibes and then I'm ready to work from home so I would use this giant book this is the last book in the series a Court of Florence and Rosa Zakatar um, it's such a big book I would use this as a laptop stand but today I'm actually gonna try to use the laptop stand that I have. Here's all that I need for my work day. We have my water, iPad, planner, laptop charger, external hard drive, phone, laptop, and laptop stand. All right, we're gonna get some work done and 
then get ready for the day. All right, so it is a little later in the day now and I'm getting ready to do some filming. So I'm just gonna loop this in though with my morning routine, even though it's not morning. I definitely don't put on makeup every day, probably like three to four days out of the week. Um, really just if I'm filming or shooting content, if I have like a meeting or an event or something I need to get ready for, I'm like going out with friends or something, but we just use a little Smashbox photo finish primer since I'm gonna be doing some photos and content. And then um, I've mentioned this on my channel a few times since I've been using it, but the Kosas Skin Improving Foundation is what I've been using. Right now it's like, it's still a little too light for me, I think, but as we get into winter, I know it'll be more of a perfect match. I just wanted to chat a little bit about morning routines on here because I feel like if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I'm like the queen of doing a routine <laughs> video. I've been doing them for seriously so many years, like since eighth freaking grade. So um, my routines have changed a lot over the years though. And you guys have seen those changes if you've watched along. And I think I was putting off doing like a morning routine lately, like since I've graduated because I wasn't really proud of my routine. Cause a lot of days I would just wake up, have my coffee. I would always like do the first part of like having my devotions and journaling. This is the Revlon Skin Awaken 5-in-1 Concealer. I've been loving this for many months. Um, and then I would just like jump right into work. And so even though the only thing I really changed was adding a little walk outside um, and like ice rolling and putting on music and like setting the mood, I only changed those few things recently. And since I graduated, the mornings just always have felt very overwhelming to me. It's like, okay, even though I have nowhere to be, which is weird, um, this is the Milk Makeup like stick bronzer. I freaking love it. It's the only thing I use for bronzer or contouring or whatever. And I love using it on my nose. So I think I was just kind of, I don't know if embarrassed was the word, but I just didn't want to share a morning routine with you guys where I wasn't like, it wasn't really motivational because like this summer I was waking up like at 8 or 9 a.m. and like going into the fall, like. You know, some days I will have been waking up at like more after 8 a.m. or like closer to 9 and would just have my coffee, do my journal, and then jump right into work and wouldn't like go for a walk and wouldn't set the mood and I would just feel rushed and feel like I need to start working because I was waking up later um, than I used to when I was in school. So I think for me, it's just felt very weird like not having anywhere to be but still feeling stressed in the morning um and like i'm behind and i need to be working in order to be productive and like get started with my day so that's how i've been feeling recently and i think that's why i haven't wanted to film a routine video since postgrad because i was kind of ashamed that i was waking up so late and then like feeling lazy and then feeling like i need to jump right into work because i was lazy this is the liquid blush from rare beauty i have this shade I've had this shade for about two years. I mean, you can kind of start seeing that I've used it. This is the color Grace. Love it, it's very pigmented. And I saw someone recently on YouTube use this Grateful color, which first off, I love Rare Beauty. I love her names, how they're like grateful, kind. Um, they're just really positive <laughs> words. Big fan of Rare Beauty. But I only have tried this once, but it looks so pretty on her. You literally only need a dab, because it is so pigmented. And I think this is gonna be the perfect color for the holidays because even though it's red, like it still gives you that like you're out in the cold kind of flush. So I'm gonna also I do some on my nose a little bit. But I think it's like gonna be the perfect cooler weather, chilly weather blush. And yeah, I'm really liking that. It also is like pretty close to my natural flush on my face. So it will die down by the time I start filming, but I just put on a little bit more at the start of the day so that it lasts longer but as i was saying i just need to realize it's okay if my morning routine isn't as elaborate as it used to be if i'm not working out first thing in the morning or i don't know like if i'm not loving the mornings as much as i used to i feel like lately in the past year like 2022 i've just been loving like my night routine and like winding down and not feeling overwhelmed and like shutting off my phone and my computer watching a movie, reading a book, like baking, having dinner, like that's just what I've enjoyed more recently when it used to be flipped. I used to love the mornings a lot more. And so I think it's all just, you know, life's changing. Um, and you can change your opinions and you can change your routines. You can change your 
things you enjoy you can change your hobbies you can change whatever you want so yeah that really was all i wanted to say i just don't know why i've been like not wanting to film a morning routine in the past few months i'm using this Too faced salted caramel eyeshadow palette has some really pretty orangey shades which i love using in the fall also this bathroom lighting is so pretty i need to film morning routines just so i can show off this bathroom and use this because it's not like i do makeup tutorials or anything we're using the milk Brow gel in Dutch. Another milk product. They sent me some stuff back in the spring and I just have really used it. But this, I they sent me originally and I used it up and I loved it so much I rebought it, which is crazy. So this is the Kush Mascara. Um, really nice packaging. Like it's very heavy and durable, but also, and I feel like it has a lot of product but also it's such a good mascara. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching this more chill, realistic morning routine where I show you how my morning is pretty simple. There are little pieces of it that make it really special, like ice rolling, like my coffee routine, like going for a walk, even if it's just for 20 minutes, just like getting sunlight right on my face first thing when I wake up, um, journaling, having all the books that I read in the morning. Like it's just a nice way to start my day, even if it's not very elaborate and they're small tasks. <laughs> okay, I wanna share my little fall lip duo. I have been obsessed with um, like a brown lip, which I think is very like Latina 90s, like very JLo Shakira vibes. Um, I think now like Hailey Bieber called it brownie lips, but so anyway, I got this NYX matte lip liner in the shade Cold Brew. I saw this on a girl's TikTok. And then I got this NYX um, roll about, I don't like to spend a lot of money on lip products because I don't use them all the time. Um, but this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Butterscotch. And this is really good on its own. But I wanted to really try that like lining your lips with a brown liner trend. So let's do it. It's so fun and I think so pretty for fall. I'm just gonna fill in my lips slightly. We're gonna put on this Butter Gloss. I like only wear dark lips in the fall, but oh, I think it's so fun. So that is my fall little makeup routine. Now I'm gonna figure out what to do with my hair. You guys probably know I hate doing my hair and so it's never done in videos, but we'll figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair and then I'm gonna continue with my day with some filming and work I need to get done. But thank you guys so much for watching this fall morning routine. I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know what other videos you guys want this fall going into holiday season. Bye.